So if you're logging in for the first time, you're going to go to fmls.com and log in. You're going to go to Products and then Bridge Input. Click on that. It'll take a second to sync up. Then it'll take you into the Listing Input, Terms of Use. Of course, you're going to read this all super thoroughly. You're going to hit I Agree. And you have to connect Georgia MLS. So um, you're going to click the actual Georgia MLS card. You're going to hit um, that you're confirming to com to bring that that MLS into your bridge account. You just log in, and you should see both of the cards at the top there: FMLS and Georgia MLS, ready to use. And that will take you into the bridge dashboard. Quick overview of the dashboard. The first thing you'll see is any listings that you've used um, Bridge to put in will show up here. So there'll be little squares with all the various listings that you've inputted. You can switch between a grid view or a list view of your listing, so whichever one you prefer. You can use filters to easily sort what status you want to look at or work on. So um, you can change it to unfinished. Unfinished would be if you started inputting a listing, saved, and then you're going to come back to it later. You haven't finished it yet, and it's not ready to be published into the MLS. Publishing means that you have finished. You've, sent the, you've clicked the publish button, and it has sent to the MLS, but it's not accepted yet. It's not posted yet. Publishing means it's in the process. Accepted means that it has been accepted into the MLSs. It should be published. It should be live now, ready to access. And then rejected is if there was some problem with the listing information, if you got a little checkbox happy, if you know you went over the photo limit. It will tell you that you're over the photo limit, um, but you can override that. So if for any reason you know there was some requirement that you, that was ignored, it will come back rejected. You can also sort by, so you can sort by the address A to Z or Z to A. You can sort by the least recent or most recent listings. You will see how you can search for a listing here. So any listing you put in, you can search for it and it'll come up. You add a new listing here. So this is a listing that has never been in, or is not currently in the MLSs. And then import listing is if you have currently put something in the MLSs. So for example, you use Swift. Um, for a listing and you want to either edit that listing in, in the bridge portal or um, you just kind of want to get used to using the bridge portal, you can import the listing that's already in the MLSs and it will draw over all that information here where you can make edits. I only suggest doing this if you have to make an edit because otherwise it'll kind of be a lot of work for you to transfer over all of your current listings to bridge. Um, so we kind of just suggest waiting, but you're more than welcome to go ahead and import them. And then next is the connections tab. So this will show both FMLS and Georgia MLS. Um, those are the only two things that should be here. Um, if Georgia MLS is still down here, it will be because your connection has not been set up yet, like in the previous clip. And then lastly, help center. So just like all of our other KW tools, there is a help center here. You can search for specific questions here. Um, knowledge base, training, FAQs, contact, and then they'll always post a document of um, new enhancements or fixes that they've, um, they've added to the site. They are constantly doing improvements, um, Bridge Interactive is, so you'll see these sorts of things um, pop up. Additionally, in the next coming weeks, you'll probably see some tutorials like this one added here by the professional people at Bridge Interactive. So look out for those. Those will be helpful in training. That's just the little tour of your da um, dashboard here. And now we're going to talk about adding a new listing. So we're going to go up here and click New Listing. So the first thing that you're going to see is that you can search for the property. Um, so, you know, you guys do a lot of resale, so it's possible that, you know, this address has already been put into the MLS and it will auto recognize that. Um, you can search for the property by the address, by the APN number, by the tax ID, or by a previous MLS number. We're going to go with address because I'm going to create a fake property. So. Um, I'm going to type 123 
Make property lane super clever, I know. Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. So I'm going to search, and of course nothing is going to come up because that's a fake property. But in the event that this has already been added to the MLS, um, then that address will come up here. You'll be able to click that and click use this address. So I'm going to go ahead and click this right now because I'm creating a new listing with this fake property. So the first questions you'll see, you'll recognize these property type. You'll see multifamily, residential lots, residential detached, commercial, acreage and farm, residential attached, residential rental. So this should all look familiar to you. So we're going to go with residential detached for our fake property. For the list agent, so this is where you will search for yourself. So you'll be able to search your name um, and that will come right up. If you're in your own account, you should already be in here. So your name will already come up. But you can always add a co-list agent, so if there's multiple people on the deal, um, you know, you might add someone else. So, so I'm going to have my list agents here, and then select publish targets to post to. If you're using this system, it's probably because you want it to go to both FMLS and Georgia MLS, but you can just select one if you just like this input um, system better than the ones that the MLS provides. So we're going to hit create listing going to go creating dot 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 we see our fun little dots all right so I'm gonna explain this dashboard a little bit so firstly you'll always see your property here at the top you'll see listing info and then listing media so listing info that's all of the boring facts about the property right listing media is gonna take you into your photos and everything once we get there under listing info you can see there is six out of 106 fields that have to be completed and you're at six percent right now so as you move through the form this will gradually grow to a hundred percent you can see the navigation of what all we're going to go through so status property location listing basics description association fee everything you can turn on filters um, so you can click filters and you can only have the required fields if you only want to enter what's required Maybe you need to enter a listing really fast You just have to put it in the MLS that day, and then you're going to go back and add details later um, You can do that or only errors So there are no errors right now since we haven't you know created anything But if you're going back and um, editing a listing or maybe if your listing was rejected You just want to fix the things that was rejected then you would click only errors and that would show you everything you need to fix before it can be published you can include Georgia MLS or FMLS fields. So what that's going to do is include all of the, it's going to have the spaces for all the information that you need to send both of these sites. As you guys know, FMLS and Georgia MLS have very slightly different requirements for what can go in a listing. So um, you want to make sure these are selected if you're doing dual entry so that when you're filling it out, you can see, for example, status, FMLS. You choose the status for FMLS and Georgia MLS. Does that make sense? Hope so. Um, you will see up here everyone who is on your listing. So this is kind of like in the loop. So right now it's me, of course, the admin, and then the listing agent. Something really cool about Bridge is that you can um, add a contributor, like a photographer, who can go in. They will only be able to add photos. So like they can go in and just upload the photos for you straight into um, your listing. So you don't have to, you know, get the USB drive from them or, you know, send over a bunch of zip files. That's completely, you know, um, eliminated with this program. You can also invite admins or co-agents so that they can edit and view the listing as well. And then lastly, of course, there's a save and exit. So if you start entering a listing and you need to come back to it, you would click that or continue to listing media to go ahead and put in photos and the media that you're supplying. All right. All right, so now we're going to continue to listing media. We're going to pretend that all of our listing info is filled out perfectly, that our percentage bar here is much higher, and that all of these are done. Like 33 out of 33 is all your fields are done, you know, 15 out of 15. So we're going to go continue to listing media there at the top. Now you guys are going to love this. No more hassle with uploading your photos on Swift, um, you know, sorting them into your folder. You don't have to worry about that anymore. So you can drag and drop media or you can browse to files. So like for example, if you had a folder of your pictures already open, you could just highlight those and drag them right in. I'm going to do browse to file. 
Um, you'll also notice on this page, the Georgia MLS says zero out of 36. So you can add 36 photos in Georgia MLS and you can add 40 in FMLS. So there is a four photo difference there, but it will tell you, you know, which ones are going to Georgia MLS and which ones are going to FMLS. <clears throat> so we're going to browse and I'm going to select these really random photos I just pulled from a listing on Zillow. So I'm going to open those and pull those in. So right now, if you hover over the photo, you will see FMLS and Georgia MLS. That, that is where both of those are going. <clears throat> so, for example, if you have more than 40, then you would see at some point, I mean, I'm sorry, if you have more than 36, you would see at some point only FMLS on there. Okay? So these are all the photos um, that we're going to pretend are going on my listing. Well, how do I add captions? Glad you asked. You're just going to click add caption and it's super easy. So you would just type your description of, you know, whatever you would normally put on your captions um, for these. These are the captions that will show up on your listing in MLS and in all of those other fun property searching websites. So, you know, you would use better words than what I did probably. <laughs> What's neat is that this is the order in which they will show up. So you can easily drag and move around photos. So, you know, if you want the dining room to go before the office or the kitchen to go before the, you know, outside of the home, you can just drag them around into the order that you want. You can also see the select key here. You can easily select that. And you can archive the photos or you can download them. Um, just by selecting. If you click on Georgia MLS, it will show you the photos that are only going to Georgia MLS. If you switch to FMLS, you will see all the photos that are going to FMLS. Of course, um, since we haven't gone over in either the photo limit yet, all of these would go to both. If you need to add more photos, you just click the plus side. You can drag, drop, or browse from there. Does that make sense? I hope so. So, of course, once your listing is nice and per perfect, you literally just select Publish Listing. I'm not going to select that because this is not a real property and it will definitely get rejected. So, you would click Publish Listing. Um, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for the listing to show up on the MLS systems after it has been published and accepted. If you're importing a listing that's already in the MLS system into Bridge Interactive, you're going to type in the MLS number and hit search. It should pull up your property here. You're going to click it. And then you're going to hit confirm, which I'm not going to do because that's not my property. 